Earlier today, an Air Force Atlas II rocket underwent final preparations for this evening's launch. The Atlas is carrying a discus or defense satellite communication system. Liftoff is scheduled at 6.09 p.m. from Pad 36A here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. The launch window extends to 7.25 p.m. The Discus satellite is the fourth of ten spacecraft being launched in years to come. They will replace an aging network of similar satellites which have already performed far beyond expectations. The $160 million satellite is designed to provide high priority, worldwide secure voice and data transmissions. It is also built to withstand blasts from high altitude nuclear explosions. Designed by General Electric, now Martin Marietta, Astrospace, Discus has a lifespan of 10 years or more. This evening's launch is a joint effort between the Air Force, a 45th Space Wing, and General Dynamics Space Systems Division. The Atlas II is an upgraded version of the Atlas Centaur vehicle and carries greater propellant capacity than earlier models. At engine ignition, the Atlas II generates a liftoff thrust of 484,000 pounds. The power is provided by a Rocketdyne liquid rocket set consisting of two booster engines and one sustainer engine. All three engines will ignite at liftoff to reach the desired thrust. The upper Centaur II stage is a three-foot stretch of the earlier configuration. It's powered by two Pratt & Whitney liquid-fueled engines, developing an added 33,000 pounds of thrust. Systems at Launch Complex 36 have been refurbished and reactivated for the Atlas II, and modifications have been made to accommodate the length of the new booster. Engines ready. Launch sequence start. Mark. 9.30. MIB armed. Centaur vent valves closed. Minus 22. Minus 20. This is Air Force Atlas II launch control at uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. And we have liftoff of Atlas Centaur 106 at 6.40 in the evening on 28 November. Everything is looking good at this time. The Atlas systems are burning well. The voice here in the background, is that a Skip Mackey in the telemetry lab? And we have three good... It looks like the uh, Atlas PU is now in control. PU is the propellant utilization system. Both boosters and the sustainer look very good, burning properly. Looks like Atlas is burning just fine. A good picture of three solid engines. Continues to burn well. PU continues to burn the booster nicely. The Atlas will continue to burn for approximately one more minute at uh, two minutes and 46 seconds. The booster continues to burn well. Two minutes and 46 seconds into the flight will be the booster engine cutoff. Container looks very good. Still burning well. Two minutes into the flight. Burning nicely. And we have fired the pyro valve and the isolation valve, and everything looks good. Both boosters still.
still doing fine. Booster shut down. Right on. And time. we have booster jettison. Sustainer continues to burn well. The jettison and the um, engine cutoff was right on Atlas schedule. BU is back in control. A nominal flight at this point. And it is. So far, everything looks just fine. And it is tracking just as it is supposed to. Center nose fairing jettison will be at 3 minutes and 40 seconds, 41 seconds into the flight. looks very good. And the, the PU system is working just fine. We have fairing jettison. Fairing jettison look normal. Uh, the disturbances look normal. The Centaur is continuing to burn well. Our next event will be the Atlas sustainer engine cutoff at 4 minutes and 40 seconds into the flight. All indications in the MDC indicate that it is a perfect flight at this sustainer point. Sustainer still burning well. still burning well. PU has looked very good and continues to be in control of the engine burn. Again, PU's for the propellant utilization, ensuring that there is a sufficient amount of fuel being burned at uh, correct We amount. have SECO's sustainer shut down. Right on time. And we have separation of the Atlas from the sustainer. We have the pre-starts. On the center. At five minutes, in about ten minutes. We have the format change. Main engine start of the centaurs would happen in any second. We have both centaur stages up. Both engines are burning well. Good separation and a good light off of the main engines of the centaur. Beginning of a hopefully nice long burn. Everything looks good. The pressures are fine. Booster engine cut off, occurs about three minutes into the flight. Payload, f payload fairing separation. Sustainer engine burns. Payload separates from the Centaur. And it'll begin a stabilizing spin up to 28 RPMs. IBS separates from the satellite, and the solar array panels deploy, acquiring the sun. It'll be on an orbit testing for about 60 days. minutes and we should be having separation of the sp satellite any second we have spacecraft separation confirmed by skip Mackey, which is obviously indication looks normal that we can hear we continue in a normal coast is what we all look for we, we know now that we have a successful mission and uh, after a 30 minute delay in the launch well done to the Araya managed to get all the mark of it Araya did a good job, as well as uh, everyone else here uh, at the launch team. Congratulations to the launch team on a perfect Discus III flight for the United States Air Force. This is Atlas II Launch Control. Good night.